Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SK beat. We're kicking. Just kicking. Just kicking. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And y'all see who we're looking at right now. Pay attention to Wendy's legs. Those legs right there are small. And um, those legs right there, uh, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I want to say she is cloned. Then I want to say, you know, maybe she's reptilian. I don't think Wendy is here with us. Now, this is allegedly, but I think they don't clone her and she did somewhere, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm being honest because ain't no way in the world your legs going to look like that. Okay, like they distress, like she's been harming herself. And we do remember this when she was isolated uh, from everybody. And she was coming out here and there. And her baby boy was trying to help her. But I really thought that he would help her by being in New York, going to school, and keeping a tight rein on her. But she don't even want to see him, allegedly. Uh, so that's really is a mess right there. But... Wendy has not been well for a long time. And it seems like I was the only one saying this stuff ain't going to get better. You know, everybody else was saying, oh, she's going to come back. She's going to come back. Like, is people looking at the same thing I'm looking at? Because it don't make no sense for people to keep that uh, type of mentality going up when we see her constantly going down. The only thing we can do is keep her in prayer. You know what I'm saying? She's still living. Because I know y'all got to know about cloning. And how they say they have to take the real person out in order to make that person. Okay. I know y'all don't pretty much know what I'm talking about. But just research cloning. Research uh, wax uh, figures. When these people. Y'all remember seeing the uh, wax people. Uh, the It was something. It was a, a movie called Wax. But the, it's like they would take. They would kill the human. And then they would put the human body in a wax formation. Wax house or house of wax. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm putting the shit backwards. And, and he ain't never look, look like the Delph Angel right there. And the only reason I call him that because he's hanging around Whitney Houston too. Just before she passed out. You know, I don't know if he's the ooey man that they go, call him to get what they need or whatever. But he is definitely a uh, transporter. Let's just put it that way. He's a transporter. And half the time he'd be transporting people's stuff and then they'd be dead the next day or the next couple of weeks, okay, or months. Ah, but he'd be the last one to be seen with them out in the public. So Nene better watch out too. Because even though they just did College Hill together, that don't mean a hill of beans, all right? Get on y'all conspiracy hats on. Think outside the box of what's being seen, what's being shown. Okay, let me see, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, okay, 20, 10, and 10. Okay, you have to do the numero numerology and try to uh, add it up. Uh, but anyway, you see how her legs are? Then you see how her legs are there? Come on, people, come on. And I know people going to say, well, she lost a lot of weight and she got Graves disease. Yeah, when her, her lymph lymphedema is uh, doing what it needs to do, her legs be swollen as well as her feet are swollen. But that is just a hot mess that's going on. That's why I said, mm-mm, something, something in the kitchen ain't cooking. Okay, we smelling stuff and it's smelling foul. But again, that's a skinny leg as well, similar to the leg that's all wrinkled or blood seems like it's not getting to where it needs to be this is what i'm talking about y'all because wendy was not fat when she got sick so y'all tell me what that look could that be a spirit in a meat suit you know what i'm saying because technically all of us are meat suits when our uh spirit goes out of us you your your body becomes the meat suit with nothing in it 
And the one I can tell you about, it's hard to move a meat suit when the energy is gone out or the spirit or the soul is gone out. My auntie died uh, at her home and um, we were there. It just caught us all off guard because she just hit the flow. And I was talking to her and everything. See, that's swollen lymphoma. That's lymphoma, y'all. So how is she being able to walk? Because even people such as myself, I had to wear compression socks. Or, or yes, compression socks to keep swelling from coming towards my uh, bottom of my leg because it's supposed to be circling back up. The oxygenated air. See what I'm saying? But uh, just to make a long story short is basically... Uh, my aunt was dying, you know, I guess she had a heart attack because I was telling her, you know, do she hear me? And I'm going to try to do CPR on her and all this kind of stuff. And she, I said, raise your hand if you can hear me. She raised her hand. And I was like feeling her pulse and everything. I, could, I couldn't feel a pulse, y'all. It was very, very faint. And then I was saying, okay, if you can hear me still, raise your hand. She didn't raise her hand. She didn't raise her hand. And, you know, uh, you know, everybody was kind of, uh, uh, what do you call it? They were wired, in a sense of a better word, lack of a better word. Everybody was on high alert. But, you know, once the paramedics got to the home, uh, I mean, she was gone. I already knew it. You know what I'm saying? Because I work in medicine. I know what things look like when a person's not going to make it. And she looks like death's door. And if she really looks like a clone, it's what I'm saying. So, you know, the only thing we could do is just keep her spirit. Uh, hopefully her spirit get to the right domain you know what i'm saying heaven versus hell uh because that's pretty much it because look at you know those are legs you see how they're swollen a little bit at the bottom uh and this must be her handler or something i'm just speaking facts to y'all whether y'all want to believe it or not but again she those are her legs you see what i'm saying you can see maybe in the calves is a little swollen but you know because she i don't think when to work out but she looks like a meat suit walking without the soul in it. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like a clone. Because who in their mind, Mr. Selby, why would he let her go out like this? You know, I'd be like, uh-uh, baby, you got to put on some pants. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're going to get you some sweats. But I would not show um, uh, Wendy like that if you were on her team, if you were trying to keep her best interests uh, from the public eye to not be talked about you would not have let Wendy come out like this and how they say they can tell you in plain sight telling you the truth but you're looking at other avenues or looking at a particular person and their comings and goings and again uh, it could be dementia it could be Alzheimer's and they just don't want to put it out there but then it could be a representation of a person being cloned all right because that's just oh that's just uh, I don't know reptilians what it's, what what it's giving me. It's giving me reptilian look. Okay, now if they can show us uh, hitting in plain sight in cartoons, y'all remember the um, Simpsons cartoon and how they were foretelling uh, events that were going to happen but haven't happened yet. That stuff is in there. Or when that uh, I think it was a, a Simpson cartoon when they were debating about who's going to be the president and this, that, and the third, and somehow they ripped their faces off and it was a reptilian. I mean, stranger things have happened, people. I'm not saying that it is, but I ain't saying that it ain't either. All righty, so yeah, yeah. I just need to keep her spirit in prayer. That's all I got to say about it. Um, and I'm very disappointed, like I said, uh, that his son, her son, did not do his due diligence and stay with his mom 24-7, because she gave a lot for him. He had a, well, he still have a privy life, uh, not wanting for anything, but, and that's just a do boy right there. He's just a do boy. Uh-huh, he on somebody's payroll, but to me... That looks like it could be a clone. That's what I'm saying. It could be a clone, y'all. Could be a clone. I'm trying to fool us that that's Wendy when in actuality it's not. And look at her foot. They're swollen on the top of them. But her her legs are kind of clear. You're not seeing those 
because uh, you know a lot of people say well she lost weight she lost weight but Wendy was already thin people let's think about that she was not no heavy big person like myself you know what I'm saying she has the height and she had the appropriate weight but your skin is not gonna look like that look at some Ladima pictures of people that lost weight and then compare them against uh Wendy and y'all come back and tell me uh that I was insightful that yeah that's a good point of now now they be way off the mark here you know what I'm saying and you have to think about people that get things because they want things but then they have to get sacrificed for things something else got to happen for them to stay in that lack of luxury okay because where there's good there's always bad it's always that yin and the yang okay always the positive energy the negative energy Mm-hmm. And we live we're a world that lives by symbols. Okay. Signs. Like they show that number in the back. Is that a number in the back of that uh I can't read it. Somebody need to uh, pull that up and tell me what the numbers are on there. How do you say death by numbers? All right now. Trying to talk to the people that really understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, see even in that photograph. Her, her legs are fine. They're not shriveled all up like she was, what, 200 pounds and she lost all the weight. Mm-mm. All right. That's all I got. I just wanted to put my two cents in and I'm trying to figure out if Will Selby is this type of person that's supposed to be managing her. Why is he not managing her? Why does he have her coming out the house looking like death has warmed over making people speculate more negative on the situation that doesn't make any sense people won't make any sense okay because it almost looked like she was size zero when they never been no size zero and she's been sick before but she never was as I don't know. And see, that person really don't even look like the person we're looking at now with the shriveled up legs. You know what I'm saying? Because wasn't that um, Jason Lee who got himself saying uh, the um, the queen had died? Because somebody had gave him some information, some intel. And he wanted to be the first one to put that exclusive out. And whoever he got it from, they made him look like he was a fool. But then again, who's to say Queen Elizabeth ain't dead? Because I'm telling you, that woman looks the same every year. Look at her pictures. <sighs> but that's all I got for this video, guys. Keep Wendy definitely in prayer, especially her soul. Uh, not necessarily her body. And uh, keep her son in prayer. Because it's, he's going to have to deal with a lot. A lot of emotions. All right, because that's when I had said something's going to happen to Wendy. When I saw her on that Halloween special and she just went out like that. And she was seeing before she had fainted. She had seen something like it was very ugly or very, uh, I don't know, demonic maybe. Yep, yep, yep. But that's all I got, honey. And I will see y'all next video.